So here we discuss the second part of the module 1. The integral form of Maxwell equations. So we have seen the two Maxwell equations. Del dot d is equal to rho. Del dot d equal to 0. Del cross E s minus do b by do t and uh, del cross h s j plus do d by do t. So, these are the four Maxwell equations and we can see that these equations are differential equations. So, the differential equations are valid at every point in space. These are valid at every point in space. But in the physical world, we deal with different objects of uh, different shapes and boundaries. So, the particular object we could apply, but these are applicable for different points in space. For the particular boundary, color object we could apply, we could integral equations. So, we have to convert the differential forms into integral forms so that uh, these are applicable for objects having specific shapes and boundaries. So now, first of all, we will uh, convert the curl equations into integral equations. So in order to convert the curl equations into integral equations, we have to take the surface integral on both sides over an open surface with a closed loop C on it. So we will get taking the surface in the graphical equations along an open surface. The closed diagram the del cross E vector is on the ds vector is on the dot ds is equal to surface integral minus dou b by dou t dot ds. So we can convert the surface integral into a line integral using Stokes theorem. So, uh, surface integral of curl of a vector function is equal to the closed line integral of the vector function according to Stokes theorem. This is equal to. So, on the RHS, we can take uh, the derivative operator outside and that will be uh, here it is a partial derivative. Uh, so, when taking this outside, we will get an ordinary derivative. d by dt of minus d by dt of integral b dot ds. So, integral b dot ds is nothing but the magnetic flux minus d phi by dt. So, the integral form of del cross e is equal to minus 2 b by 2 t reads closed integral e dot dl is equal to minus d phi by dt. So, this is nothing but the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday's law. So, now, so now we have to get the integral form of the equation del cross which is equal to j plus dou d by dou t. So, we have to take the surface integrals on both sides of the equation over an open surface that encloses a, a loop. So, this is equal to j plus dou d by dou t integrated over a, an open surface. So, applying Stokes theorem over here, we will get closed integral h dot dl is equal to uh, this can be split into two integrals j dot ds plus integral dou d by dou t dot ds. So this is nothing but i closed integral s dot dl is equal to i plus integral surface integral dou d by dou t dot ds. So, this is the dou d by dou t is the displacement current density. So, displacement current density uh, integrated over surface is the displacement current. So, this will give the displacement current. 
so in text some textbooks it is called the uh, IED and uh, this uh, row D by row T is usually termed as JD so this uh, integral JD dot DS is IED in some textbooks so this is nothing but the ambient circuital theorem with Maxwell's modification so this is nothing but Ambius circuital theorem with Maxwell's modification. So now we have obtained the integral form of the two fluid equations. Now we have to get the integral form of the two divergence equations del dot d is equal to rho and uh, del dot v equal to zero. Here we have to uh, integrate both sides of the divergence equations over a boolean. Del dot d, d tau is equal to integral rho d tau. So, applying Gauss's divergence theorem on the LSS, we will get the volume integral of a divergence of a function is close to surface integral of the function d dot ds and the integral rho d tau is nothing but q so this is nothing but the Gauss's law now we have to uh, get the integral form of del dot b equal to 0. So, integrating del dot b over the boolean, we will get del dot b d tau is equal to integral, volume integral del dot b d tau is 0. So, applying Gauss's divergence theorem, we will get closed surface integral of b dot ds is 0. So, that means the magnetic flux along a closed surface is 0. So, this shows that there are no magnetic monopoles in nature. So, there are no isolated magnetic charge present in nature. So, summarizing, uh, we can say that uh, the differential forms of the Maxwell equations are given by this. And uh, these are the corresponding integral form. And uh, the differential forms are given by del cross is minus 2b by dot t. So, this is the First, uh, one of the Maxwell equation and this is the corresponding integral form. So, it is integrated or around a closed to condo C or a closed to loop C. So, this is nothing but the Faraday's law. So, uh, the differential form del process is j plus rho d by rho t and this is the corresponding integral form which is nothing but the ampere circuital law with uh, Maxwell's correction. And uh, the integral form of this equation is uh, closed uh, surface integral d dot d s is equal to q, which is nothing but the Gauss's law, or uh, s is the closed surface. And the differential form of del dot d is equal to closed surface integral d dot d s equal to 0. And this shows that there are no isolated magnetic charge. So, these equations are true for a time varying case and also for a static case. In static case, B is a constant in time and del cross C is equal to 0 and also phi is also a constant in time and cross integral A dot L equal to 0. This is the shows the conservative nature of the electrostatic field. And here uh, on the static case, del cross is just J, which is the differential form of ambient circuital theorem. And, uh, Closed integral x dot dl becomes i l on and the static case which is nothing but the ambient circuit up here. So those two equations are same for both the static and dynamic cases. So now we can do one problem. An AC voltage source of amplitude V0 and angular frequency omega. Uh, and uh, the voltage is given by Vc equal to V0 sin omega t is connected across a parallel plate capacitor C1 as shown in this figure. Verify that the displacement current in the capacitor is same as that of the conduction current in the wires. 
and also we have to determine the magnetic field in density at a distance r from the wire. So we have to figure out that the source AC voltage in V0 sin omega t converted to V0 amplitude and omega r in the angular frequency. Now we have the conduction current in the wire. IC is equal to TQ by DQ. That is the sign of the lid. Now, we have a potential in the capacitor with the capacitance C1. So, here Q is C1 into the potential. We have to substitute the Q equal to CV. Now, we have to substitute the D by DT of C1 into VC. C1 is a constant and can be taken out of the derivative C1 into DVC by DT. VC in the world is V0 sin omega t. That is the derivative in the world is DVC by DT in the world. V0 omega cos omega t. So this is the conduction current. Then we have the equation number 1 in the world. So now we have to find the displacement current. The displacement current is the idea that we already have to do. That is JD dot DS. JD is dou D by dou T dot DS. That is the integral. Integral JD dot DS. Integral dou D by dou T dot DS. That is the idea. Now we have to do epsilon E. इसे हम लोग को बड़ा पोटेंशियल आने तामने की नजर क्या पैसिटर में के इसलिए हम कर रहे हैं इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज़ इक्वल टू वी बाय डी और वीसी तामने की नजर वीसी बाय डी आए रही क्यों सो डी इज़ इक्वल टू इक्सलॉन इंडू ई ई तो हमारा ना वीसी बाय डी वीसी सब्सटिट्यूट इधर कर नियाले वी � D and D written as but dou D by dou T in the world in the epsilon is constant on V0 by D sin omega T to the derivative omega cos omega T so I D in the world in the integral epsilon V0 by D omega cos omega T dot ds इन्दर डीएस में वाला हमारे दिन सर्फेस इंटेग्रल चाहिए है ना पर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सर्फेस इंटेग्रल इधर लाल कांस्टेंट है इप्सिलॉन जीरो बाय डी वी जीरो ओमेगा कोस ओमेगा टी इंटेग्रल डीएस में और इन्हें द एरिया ऑफ़ टी कैपेसिटर प्लेट साइड के तो कैपेसिटर ना आदेन अगर तांड so, epsilon 0 a by d नो वरें नुदर parallel plate capacitor इंद capacitor इंद सामन नम करिया अपको नमको c1 इन epsilon a by d नो एड़ता अले So, c1 is the capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor So, this is c1 इंदु e0 इंदु omega cos omega t So, this is equation number 2 So, we can see that equation number 1 is equal to equation number 2. So, the conduction current in the wires is equal to the displacement current and the capacitor. In the case of the magnetic field intensity, we can apply the circuital theorem with Maxwell's modification. Apply integral dot d by dot t dot ds and i d n. अक्षय नमकी के नाम के रंडे तरह क्लोजली लोगों का कंसीडर या उनका वायर लम उनके कैपेसिटर नागता कैपेसिटर नागता उनको क्लोजली इंडेक्टरल एस डॉट डी एल नो वारी इन्ना द आईडी मात्रे इन लोगों लो वायर्स ने नागता आने के लिए क्लोजली इंडेक्टरल एस डॉट डी एल नो वारी इन्ना द आई मरना Indonesia
So this is the magnetically at a distance r from the wire. Okay.